So I'm going to tell you a story of how we got 200k investment through my personal brand. Um, it's a story that I haven't really told a lot of people. So two years ago, I started shooting videos. I know that you know shooting videos is part of you know the thing because Gary V has been preaching it all along. And for me as an entrepreneur, I felt like that I need to be able to touch many, many more people in order for me to be able to impact them, which is why videos do this thing. So two years ago, I committed to shooting a video every single week for a full year, documenting my business journey, documenting um, basically how, how I feel, the, the troubles that I'm facing, and basically throughout the whole journey. I hated it. It was very, very, very difficult to begin with. Talking to the camera is so different. It's uh, prior to talking to the camera, I've had training uh, from Toastmasters. Um, I completed it, and I thought that hey, you know what? Now that I completed my 10 Toastmasters challenge, um, I can dominate videos. It's gonna be super easy. My first video took me more than three hours to shoot. It was like only 50 takes. Hi, my name is, oh damn it, I froze. Hi, my name is Wilson, oh damn, that didn't work out. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that video was only a minute long. So it was definitely very crazy. Now, shooting the videos, I never really had much expectation of what it's gonna bring me. I just know that it's gonna be in for the long game. But after a few weeks of doing that, when I see my friends, I, I realized there was a change. What I mean by change is that they treat me differently. It's as if I just talked to them yesterday, but I haven't seen them for three months. They're like, hey Wilson, great event last week, like amazing job. And I'm like, dude, I, I didn't, first of all, you didn't go to my event. Second of all, I haven't seen you for months. And it's as if I just talked to them yesterday. So that feeling was just very different. That interaction was very, very different. And I was just starting to get used to it because people were getting more and more uh, personalized with me through video. Now, once again, doing this whole video thing, I knew that I had to do that. Um, there was really no outcome that I was expecting, but I just know that I need to commit it for, to it for a full year. I think around three months in, one guy emailed me. He's like, hey Wilson, I really like what you're doing with 720 Suites. Can we talk? So we hop on the phone and he was like, hey Wilson, like really great event, really great stuff you're doing. I love your mentality, I love the strategies that you have, and thanks so much for sharing it through YouTube. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I don't know where you, like, you found me through YouTube, but this guy all the way from Edmonton found me and we started talking. And within a week, we actually landed a deal for him to become a partner of ours and invest in 200 k Now that's something that I would never ever think of when I first started my journey to personal life. To put myself out there, to commit to really showing who I am and the way that I do business. Um, my mentality, my thoughts, my struggles, everything. But because of the fact that I put myself out there, that people saw exactly what and who they're going to be dealing with. They saw the values and the culture that we have. That's what enticed them to work with me. And quite frankly, he was telling me it's not about the business idea. It's about me, you, on the other side end of the spectrum that they want to work with, that they're buying into. So at the end of the day, personal branding isn't really about trying to mimic Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, or any of the really crazy people out there, just because they do what they do, so many of us are trying to mimic and copy their style, what they say, their theories, their philosophies, because they are successful. And they think that it is about being dumb that would make you successful. That is actually the reverse. It is being who you are and being super vulnerable and just being transparent. And you're going to be able to attract the people that buy into you. And that's what personal branding is all about. It doesn't matter what business you're in, it doesn't matter what niche or whatever the case is. 
enhance the effect of personal branding and consistency and maintenance. So at the end of the day, it's not going to be a walk in the park. You're, you're going to feel like so many times, actually, if you go back to some of my videos, you're going to see that I was like literally half drunk and I was still editing and shooting the video. And then my dad actually called me the next day and he's like, why are you crying in front of the camera? And I'm like, no, I'm not crying. I'm just drunk. But I committed to shooting and editing a video every single Tuesday. And that's why I'm like, that's why I had to do that. But back to the whole point, it's not going to be easy at all. And it's going to take a lot of determination and commitment to get through this hurdle and the consistency of shooting every single week. And you're not going to be able to see that 200k investment. I never saw it. You're not going to see that the effect that it's going to have on your business. But what you need to do and what you need to have is that belief of the end game. And believe that this is going to be very effective and that it can only do you good in the long run. So it's about seeing that vision a year, two years down the road. So it's going to be the long game that you committed to. Not the day in, not the, not the week after week after week. Right? So believe in the process, believe that it will all work out and commit to it. And you're going to be able to find your time. So for me, it took more than 30 videos just to shoot that one minute clip when I first started. Um, I don't know about you, it was super difficult. I just keep on criticizing myself of how I look, how I sound, does this make sense and everything. But at the end of the day, it didn't really matter because that's the first step that it took in order for me to have now more than hundreds of videos. Still crappy, but hey, I'm still doing it. So my question for you is, what's preventing you from taking that first step? What's preventing you from putting and posting your first video? Leave a comment section below. I'd like to see.